the people of Israel is that very group that in Abraham's times separated from all other nations that lived in Babylon, that separated from the gathering of all the nations that lived in Babylon back then, in order to realize a spiritual idea of rising from the egoistic to an altruistic nature, to try and reach true love and bestow towards others, and not in make-believe. And therefore the Holocaust is humanity's acute response towards the Jews in order to try and force them to come together, to unite, and to bring the method of correction to all of mankind. Unless we realize the plan of nature to bring all of mankind to identify with the upper force, the force of bestowal and love, so that love another as thyself will dwell among all nations. And the Jews, they have to realize it. They're responsible for the Holocaust that happened to us in the 20th century and that, God forbid, might return. And we can't correct anti-Semitism in any way, not even on the smallest degree. But their entire correction is through our connection, that through us, the force of unity, of connection, the force of love, which is the upper force of nature, that it will influence all the nations of the world. This means to be laid on to the nations. And then, of course, the wisdom of Kabbalah is meant in order to cancel the Holocaust and all the problems and troubles and calamities. And only through the dissemination of the wisdom of Kabbalah, both among Jews and also among the nations of the world, can we explain to ourselves and to the rest of the world what should be the method of correction of all of reality, of the entire world, so that the wisdom of Kabbalah will become the method of education for the entire world. And then we will truly reach a state where we will become light onto the nations, as it says. Love another as thyself will be the purpose of our development and the development of all of mankind. We'll reach a state where finally the world will reach the goal that it has to reach, and in a good way.